Okay, today's video is going to be how to make Connect 4 in Lightburn. Just wanted to show how I've done it, and it's actually not too bad to do. So, I started off by dragging out a circle. I made it one inch and a quarter. I locked this so it goes to an inch and a quarter circle. And then with the array tool, in the whoops, in the Y columns, you've got six rows. So that's what I'm going to do first. Is the six. And the spacing is a quarter inch, that's what I have. I'm going to select these, bring them down to the laser. And now you need some tabs to hold the front and the back apart and to keep the chips in the correct columns. So you want to drag out a tab, and I'm going to have to go into millimeters. I'm going to make this tab four millimeters wide, that's how wide my wood is. The length of it don't really matter too much, so I'm just going to actually leave it at that. This down here is just a 6mm square, so just to make sure my spacing is about right, I'm going to touch that on the side there, and then move this across. I'm going to just bring this down a bit because I don't want it sticking past the hole. So, And now I'm going to press Ctrl and D to duplicate that, and put one roughly in the same place at the bottom. As long as I hold shift while I'm moving this, it's moving in a straight line, so I know I'm good. It don't matter, you know, how exact. I mean, you can get it exact if you want, but Control and D again, and I'm going to put one around the center here. I'm going to move this little spacing block out of the way because I don't need it anymore. So now I'm going to select the whole, that lot, and the tabs, and go to the array tool and do my X columns, which is going to be seven rows in the X direction. And now with your spacing, you want to make it, these are roughly going to be in the center. So I mean mine, if I do six millimeters, that should be the correct spacing for mine. So I did the six millimeters between, I've done the six millimeters here. So now it's going to be six millimeters spacing on all these. So next thing I'm going to do is select these, just three of them. Press control and D because I still need a row at this end. Hold shift and move this over here. Get my little six millimeter block again, just so I can double check. Move that to there. Select all three of them and hold shift and line these up. So now you know this is six millimeters. I'll move that back out of the way. So now you need a frame around it. So I'm just going to draw just a rough frame here and then I can move it around like this. So these, when I make the chips, I'm going to make them a quarter inch bigger than the hole. That way it'd be one eighth of an inch below the hole and it'd be an eighth of an inch above the hole. So then when they drop in, they're all going to line up. So if I make this around an eighth of an inch away, then, you know, it's going to be about the correct spacing. So, yeah, so there's an eighth of an inch block. And you can just touch this on the bottom and then just grab this, and move it up, select this outside, move it in a tiny bit, then select everything on the inside, group it, and then click the outside and center. Okay, so now I know that's good right in the center. Okay, so that's one side built. Okay, so now I've just got to make these little you know, these things was gonna slot in to hold the two sides apart. So to do that, I'm gonna line that up to the top here, and then I'll drag this right to the bottom, and make sure to press shift before I move it, so it stays on that same line. Now this needs to be as wide as your chips are gonna be, so, or a bit wider, so it's got space to slide in. I'm gonna make mine, I'm thinking my chips are gonna be around four, to four and a half millimeters, so I'm going to say six millimeters. So I got a bit of space. So now this is six millimeters wide. So what I'm going to do is select these three, press Control and D to duplicate them, hold Shift, slide this across, make this six millimeters. So it's the same as your piece of wood and slide it till these line right up. 
which is around there. And now you need the tab to stick out either side, which is going to be enough, you know, to hold the wood on. So that this wood what I'm using is going to be 4.2 millimeters thick, and I need that sticking out of both sides. So I want to add onto this. So I'll put in plus eight point four millimeters. That'll give me. 4.2 millimeters out each side and now while these are selected group them and then you can hold control and select your other object and take everything from the center and now you've got these with a six millimeter spacing and then these are going to go into your slots so you're going to need six of them for these six center ones one two three four five six and then on the two ends we'll make it so there's legs there so I'm just going to go to the array tool make one two three four five six or actually I'll make seven and then with this one we'll have to make a leg on the bottom so these ends are going to have to go all the way through because it's going to be a foot it's going to be easier you know if you just slot it right in it's all the way up there so what I'm going to do is just go to the node editing tool oh first of all I'm just going to select all this right click it and say convert to path go to the node editing tool and then just hover over the bottom here press the letter D so it deletes that out and then click hold shift and click the other one so now they're both red let go of shift and then hold shift again just bring it down it'll drop straight down to that line then you can click this line hover between them and press T so it will trim it back to where that line was and then just reconnect these by just pulling them away and putting them back and then we'll do the same on this end so click this one D click shift and click let go of shift and then press shift again drag them down till they touch this line now click the bottom line press T so it trims that away and then just pull these away and put them back oh and that end's not connected so okay so now these feet can stick all the way from you know as high as you want now so what i'm going to do is go to the node editing tool on or actually what i'm going to do is get a square because i know this matches up with the floor so i'm going to just drag a square out i'm going to select that i'm going to select them both and align the centers left click and right click on the square and convert it to a path and then go to the node editing tool I'm going to press the letter I to insert a node and the letter I here to insert a node so this don't move click on this corner shift and click on this corner let go of shift then press it again I'm going to bring these sides down so they kind of turn into like legs and then just to make it look a bit better I'm just going to round it off okay sorry the phone rang there so so yeah so for the legs all I did was use the radius tool on these corners and now what I'm going to do is just take everything out of the center so now these legs this should yep so each end will have the legs off it like that so all we've got to do now is control and D to duplicate that I'll mirror it upside down just to save a bit of room yep so that's it that's the ball done all you've got to do now is make your chips and you can do that by selecting one of these go to the offset tool offset it outwards and yep you just want it you know the spacing it was a quarter inch I had between so I want one eighth of an inch this is in millimeters actually so let me just put that in inches offset so one two five 
outward. Okay. Just use the array tool to make as many chips. Actually, what I would do first is make the design on the chips before you do the array tool. So however you're going to do it, I'm going to just offset this inwards again. And say OK. I'll put this, these on a different layer. And I'll put this on fill. And then just for now I'll put connect four or I'll have to type the colors on them because it's going to be wood just for now so I'll just put red uh, actually you could select them both and go to the array tool and just and see like that now this has gone over the top of this so if I had to select all these it would be hard what you can do is if you hold shift and click up here on the layer, it will select everything that's on that layer. So you don't have to disturb that at the back. And then you just want to nest these a little bit better. I should have, when I'd used the array tool, moved these closer together and stuff to save a bit of wood. I'll just rush in. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. And I will put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.